Cells can be described as systems made of different phases, which are regions with uniform and well-defined physical properties. Despite the enormous complexity of living cells, thermodynamics has proven to be a helpful theoretical framework to understand phases in cells. Thermodynamic systems are described by a free energy. Let's understand better what a free energy is. The free energy of a thermodynamic system reflects a competition between entropy and interaction energy, the outcome of which is the equilibrium state of the system. If we think about phase-separating mixtures, entropy favors mixing and interaction energy can let systems to separate into coexisting phases. Click here to know more about phase separation. The free energy is precisely the difference between these two competing contributions. Usually, we use the free energy per unit of volume, known as the free energy density. To make sense of all this, let's think of a mixture of one type of molecule in a solvent. This is a computer simulation of such a system. The system can be in a mixed or a demixed state. Both are represented in these regions of the phase diagram. Click here to know more about phase diagrams. The free energy of our system depends on the average concentration and the temperature. Let's prepare the system in the mixed region of the phase diagram with a certain average concentration at a fixed temperature. Under these conditions, the free energy density landscape against the average concentration looks like this. Our mixture is represented by this point in the plot. If we instead prepare the system with the same average concentration but at a lower temperature, the free energy landscape looks like this. In this case, the equilibrium state of the system is the mixed. The equilibrium state is the one that settles the competition between entropy and interaction energy. Mathematically, this means minimizing the free energy. So, asking if the system will phase separate or not is the same as asking what is the lowest energy that our system can have. In this situation, it looks like our system should go to the minimum of the plot, but this point is not accessible to our system because the average concentration is fixed. So under these conditions, the free energy is minimum when the system is homogeneously mixed at this point in the plot. In the other case, however, the free energy can be lowered by splitting the system into two phases of higher and lower concentration. In the next video, we'll understand why this is in both cases. Watch the second part of the video and find out.